Welcome back, my dear Lightbulls, to another Black Clover review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Lightbulb Army. So let's get right into it. I do gotta say right off the bat that this episode wasn't bad, but it is not what I wanted to see, right? Somebody did tell me in last week's review that there's a couple episodes that were already produced, so like last week's episode and this episode were already done pre you know everything that happened before you know the anime and a lot of different anime went on in hiatus and okay i'm fine with it because i was thinking black clover is going to come back it's going to have beautiful animation maybe just not, not every episode but more episodes but no that that's not the case i guess um the scheduling uh for the Animators and stuff is probably gonna be, still be the same and they're delayed even more because of you know that break it took I don't know if they work during that break if not then yeah It's gonna stay like this, right? Uh, and this is a problem with Black Clover being a long-running anime because Being a long-running anime a lot of the time the animation is not the best uh, There are a few exceptions here and there, but uh, I don't like talking about animation on every review because it's just like beating a dead horse like nah, no nah. Okay, so what I didn't like about this episode, right? In last week's episode, we got the conclusion of the YouTube volcano And then we get this episode celebrating Mother Teresa's 15th 15th fit. Oh my gosh, I can't talk 15th 15th anniversary, right? Of being a mother helping the children the next generation of the Clover Kingdom, which is really important and I just couldn't get to invest it into that. Like we go from training the YouTube volcano to this, a little party get together, right? Now, my fear is that, you know, this is gonna be a six month training arc. I don't know if it started already or not. It, it looks like it started. They really just started training the YouTube volcano. I may be wrong, but if they haven't started in the six month training arc, then fine, but it looks that way. But my biggest fear is that we'll get great training episodes, which I don't mind at all. I love training episodes. I love it. You know, I like stuff like that. I like seeing stuff like that. The characters grow stronger. But the fear is that, oh, we'll get that, maybe two, three episodes, and then we'll get another episode like, like this. Like, oh, we'll try to make it comedic or whatever. I do know some people find these episodes funny, right? I do know the culture is different in Japan and from the West. So I do know like people in Japan, not everybody, all of them, but so, you know, probably a lot of them probably laugh at, at a lot of the humor, right? Because Black Clover does have its moments with its humor, which you and I smile and chuckle sometimes, but not all the time. This episode, I, I, I did chuckle one at one scene, which was Mary Leona and Fuego Leon arguing with each other when they're like, oh, you broke the vase. Oh no, you stole the portions. I, I thought it was a little bit funny. So I chuckled at that. but. Other than that, like, what, like, the purpose, what purpose is this episode filled, right? We saw Gosh again. It was cool seeing Mimosa again. Mimosa's a great character, no matter what anybody says. Um, we got word of Lady Ace here, you know, Noel's mother, that she did party tricks. That was it. That was it. Um, obviously, the purpose, I guess, was to celebrate uh, Teresa's um, Sister T Teresa's 15th, 15th anniversary. That was, and that's it. Um, that, that was literally the episode in a nutshell. And I was just thinking after watching this, should I make a rant? I'm like, no, nah, nah, I don't got a rant about this episode, right? Leopold is still training, so I'm really happy about that. We also got to see something interesting about Fuego Leon. Like, his control of mana is insane because he, okay, right? The the little trick he did with the eggs and when he boiled them and they were all boiled differently, you might think, oh, you just brushed that aside, whatever. No, that's actually really cool because that goes to show his mastery of his mana and stuff, even though he was giving the whole speech and the kids were like, this is boring, obviously, because they're kids. They're not trying to see no mana control, manipulation, or anything like that. Um, yeah. And that was it. That was literally the episode in a nutshell. I hope next week's episode is not like this. I hope it's not like um, a comedy type episode that they like, they love doing in Black Clover. Oh, we're going to look for a hermit crab or something like, like next week's episode. I hope that's not the case. Just, just get to the training. Okay. Even if they get to the training, it doesn't always have to be from the Black Bull's perspective because if I'm not mistaken, it's been a long 
time, but I don't think the Black Bulls are the only one that are going to search for the devil, if I'm not mistaken. We also have um, the people from the other kingdom. It's not the Spade Kingdom. It's not the Diamond Kingdom. Um, I forget the name of it. Because the Spade Kingdom, I believe, yeah, it's the evil one. I think it's the Heart Kingdom, yeah. Uh, we got those people that are probably going to be training um, for the devil and stuff. Maggie Kula. Uh, the devil was mentioned in this episode by Noel. Yeah, I think I think it was Noel or Asta. They're like, oh, she could de defeat the devil by herself. I, I believe it was Noel, and I'm just like, wow. They even throwing little shots in there for people that actually. Okay, I don't want to get to the devil right now, Maggie Kula. Obviously, I don't want them to rush anything, but I want training. I want more training, right? And okay, and if we get episodes like this, laid back episodes, uh, can you make it like okay? make it laid back but make it like it's it's like they're relaxing or something but they're still training or getting stronger some way even if it's like a foot race or, or something like that make it creative like this whole episode I, I was just like i was not too in tune with it is what i'm trying to say i know some people will probably be like man this is one of the funniest episodes i watch which is fine you know we all have differing opinions but for me personally, I was not the biggest fan of this episode. And yeah, I think I touched upon all of the things I wanted to touch on. I, like I said, I want more training. I, there's nothing that could be done about the animation anymore. Like, it, like I, I could scream at the top of the mountains and nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna change about that, which is sad. And yeah, Black Clover is still going strong. Somebody did tell me that it's only 14 chapters. Uh, the manga is only 14 chapters added, which is, I thought it was to be like 20, 25, but no, that's that's not good because there was also breaks during the manga when it was, um, um, you know, when, when Tabata was writing it and stuff. So uh, we'll see how this continues on. Hopefully it gets better. And I just want to say, do not rush into the mega cool stuff. Do not rush into it because then we'll get a bunch of slow pace or fillers. Like no, just give us this canon failure training and that's it. Overall, I'm giving I'm giving this episode six out of ten because I just didn't enjoy it as much. Hope you enjoyed this one and remember to have a great day. Peace.